Hello guys, welcome to the second section of the course, Creational Patterns. In this section we'll concentrate on how to represent our products as Android UI components. We'll first be applying themes, then we'll be customising colour and text. Moving on we'll be adding image source and we'll be creating card view. And finally we'll be applying a builder pattern. Now we move on to the first video of this section, applying themes. In this video we'll be customising Android themes. Here we'll be first opening the styles.xml file and then customise the theme using Theme Editor. Material design is more than just fashionable. It provides a very effective series of guidelines for best UI construction practices. Material design provides visual patterns that are analogous to the programmatic patterns. These patterns provide well-defined structures that are clean and simple to operate. Material design covers concepts such as proportion, scaling, typography and spacing all of which are very easily managed within the IDE and neatly prescribed by material design guidelines. As developers we want our apps to stand out from the crowd but we also want to incorporate all the features that Android users are familiar with. One way to do this is by applying a particular colour scheme throughout an app. This is most easily done by customising or creating Android themes since API level 21 that has been Android 5. The material theme has been default on Android devices it is, however, more than just a new look. As with all Android themes, the material themes are based on Android styles. An Android style is a set of graphical properties defining the appearance of a particular screen component. Styles allow us to define everything from font size and background colour to padding and elevation, and much more. An Android theme is simply a style applied across a whole activity or application. Styles are defined as XML files and stored in the resources, that is, res directory of Android Studio projects, as shown here. Fortunately, Android Studio comes with a graphical theme editor that generates the XML for us. Nevertheless, it's always good to understand what is going on, and this is best seen by opening the Abstract Factory project or starting a new one. From the Project Explorer, open the styles.xml file. This file contains the style definition. Here, only three colours are defined. The colours are defined in the colours.xml file, which is also found in the values directory, and will contain this definition. It's quite possible to apply more than one theme and incorporate as many styles as we might like, but generally speaking, a single theme applied across an entire application that customises one of the default material themes is the easiest and cleanest answer. The simplest way to customise the default theme is with the theme editor, which can be opened from the tools Android menu then click on Theme Editor. This editor provides us a powerful WYSIWYG preview pane that allows us to instantly view any changes we make as we make them. Although we're free to choose any colours we like for our theme, the material design guidelines are quite clear about how colours should be used together. This is best explained by material palettes. Wow! In this video we applied themes to our app. 